I am Anil Kumar and now let us explore limits of functions. Now in this particular example we have taken a linear function to start with. Question here is consider the function f of x equals to ax plus b where a and b are constants. If limit of function f of x as x approaches 3 is 2 and limit of function f of x as x approaches 1 is 4 find a and b. So what we are given here is the function f of x equals to ax plus b. We know this is linear function, correct? And we also know it is continuous. Now since it is continuous, limit of the function should be same as value of the function, right? Since it is continuous, we know that the limit, when we say limit of the function x approaches 3, for f of x is equals to 2, it also means that the value of the function at 3 is 2. That means the point 3, 2 lies on the function. Similarly, when we say that the limit of the function f of x where x approaches 1 is equals to 4 implies that the point on the function is 1, 4 value of the function at 1 is 4. So these are important things to understand before we begin solving this question. Now with this information let us solve the, and find the value of a and b. So again we are given the function f of x equals to ax plus b. We need to find a and b and we also know that there are two points on it. So what we will do here is we will substitute these two points and then find a and b. Substituting 3 and 2. So if I use 3 and 2, 3 is the value of x, 2 is y. So we get 2 equals to 3a. So I'm writing 3 for x plus b. So in this case, I have substituted the value 3 and 2, right? And now let's use the value 1 and 4. So in that case, 4 is the y value. So we get 4 equals to 1 for x, that means a plus b. So we get two different equations, right? Now from these equations, we can find the variables. So the best way is to take away, let us say this is equation number 1, this is equation number 2, and if I do equation 1 minus equation 2, what do I get? So if I take away one from the other, in that case, 2 minus 4 is minus 2 equals to 3 minus 1 is 2. So we get 2a, b minus b is 0. So from here we can solve for a. a is minus 2 over 2 and we find that the a is equals to minus 1. Once we get the value of a, we can find what b is, correct? We can use any one of these two equations. So let us use our equation 1 which is 2 equals to 3a plus b. Now in this equation, we'll substitute a equals to minus 1. So if I substitute minus 1 for a, I get 2 equals to 3 times minus 1 plus b. Right? So, so now we can write what b is, bringing 3 through this side, 2 plus 3 equals to b or b equals to 5. And now, since we know a and b, we can write f of x is equals to a is minus 1 minus x plus b is 5. So that becomes our function f of x. So we found both the values. Now, as you can see, this is a continuous function. And if I substitute x as minus 3, I get f of minus 3, you can check, is equals to right if I write uh, f of x is 3 sorry at 3 because this becomes minus 3 plus 5 it is 2 and you can also check that f of 1 is equals to 5 minus 1 which is 4 so that is the correct answer so that is how you can solve such questions thank you and all the best